Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be talking about the Xbox Scarlet, which pretty much how this all came to be was, I was on Google Chrome the other day, and an article popped up talking about how Phil Spencer was talking more, how the Scarlet will focus more on frame rate rather than graphics, which usually in gaming you hear about uh, game developers and all that focusing on good graphics, which... Don't get me wrong, I want good graphics in games, but I want a smooth running game and the way Phil Spencer's talking about in this interview that this article is covering, pretty much he's talking about like a lack of loading screens, which some of you are going to be like, oh yeah, that's a good thing, and then others are like, well, how is the game going to load? Well, pretty much they've, uh, Phil Spencer's at least said that the Xbox Scarlet is 10 times more powerful than the Xbox One X, which the Xbox One X is pretty much the top tier console beside the PS4 Pro. Those are the top two consoles that you have. I hate to say it, Nintendo Switch, but you don't you don't really make the cake with this one. You you're like graphics wise, you're not you're not up to par. But I mean, they Nintendo Switch is still in the race regardless. So I give props for that. But Pretty much, yeah, that's that's what they're going for. They're going for a f faster frame rate and less loading screens, which I personally, playing a lot of GTA here lately, has really reminded me how bad loading screens can be. And if you've played GTA at, at well, GTA 5, at any point in your life, you, you know the loading screens of GTA 5. You understand... How bad it can get. You lag out of a game. You're in the clouds for about five minutes. Just waiting to get into the game. And then you'll have to join in to another game. Like if you're playing with a friend or something. Or they're in a heist. You get kicked from something. It just. It gets overall annoying. If we could like. If they could come out with a console. That has bare minimum. Like. A 30 second loading screen. Well, probably less than that. Like, if they're claiming it's stronger than the X, then yeah, I wouldn't even doubt there would be like a 5 second loading screen. That would be nice. Like, the longest you'd have to wait is probably like 10 15 seconds. I'd be down for that, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. I know I'm excited for the Scarlet. I'm more than likely going to get it. I'm a pretty. Okay. Uh, I've been an Xbox guy since the 360. I just, for me, the PlayStation, it just, the only thing that I really like about the PlayStation is the home screen for the PS4. Oh, excuse me. I like the home screen and how it has, like, background music and all that, how it's a lot more, well, actually, I prefer the Xbox One home screen more than the PlayStation home screen, personally. I just... I feel like the layout's too much. Like, you have to go through too many options on the PlayStation rather than... Because I will give Microsoft credit where credit's due. They are trying to make the Xbox very minimalistic, which you see that in their menu. They have a freaking tab that shoots out, and pretty much all the main tabs, settings, your friends list, party chat, messages... It's pretty much all there and you can access it. And then you have your recent games and apps. It's like the last five you've been on. Which I actually prefer the layout right now. I actually, this is my probably my favorite layout for an Xbox. Once I got used to it, I really liked it. But, yeah. I, I just really hope, like, just there's good games that comes out on the Scarlet. And we'll be able to enjoy these games with very, like, bare minimum, like... At least a five to ten second wait time with loading screens but if they could completely get rid of loading screens you know how excited every gamer would be and I know there's PlayStation fans out there what about the PS5 it'll be as powerful as Scarlet yes I know it's gonna be more powerful or probably just a little less powerful I don't know the exact I don't know much about PS5. I really don't. I haven't really heard anything. All I've heard is that Sony has confirmed an X or a PlayStation 5. That's about it. But this was a shorter video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will catch you all later. Deuces.